Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Thank y'all so much for your support. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. Please take the time to subscribe. I do try to upload regularly and I am fairly new to crafting and to YouTube as I've been on YouTube for about a year and crafting for about a year as well. So today I have a project share. I'm in a swap with Scrap the World who's Tamika here on YouTube. She has a treat bag swap. I am in the clean and simple group number one. We had to decorate four treat bags and if we use um, toppers we had to include the bag to go with them. They all had to have at least three embellishments. We were in groups of five so we had to make four for our partners and of course um, one for the hostess. So my partners are Scrap For Your Life who is Katie, Sassy Crafty Taz, 101 King who is Latasha, Tiffany Crafting Like A Boss McGill, and Scrapbook Nut 2002 who is Maria. So this is how my swaps will go packaged. They're all the same. This one is for Scrapbook Nut 2002, Tiffany Crafting Like A Boss McGill, Sassy Crafty Taz, 101 King, Scrap For Your Life, and Tamika who is Scrap The World. I use this paper pad by DCWV and it's called the Happy Day Stack. I got this from Joann's. I used some of this screen and some of this tool and I hauled these from Joann's a few weeks ago. I also used a stamp that I received from this creative stamping magazine and this is issue 55 I used the little heart on the string and also the little um, heart splatter I used a few butterfly stickers so I used these gold ones from recollections I also used some of these they're almost gone I used these colorful ones with the glitter on them also some of these colorful ones from this recollections pack and also some of these kind of tie-dyed looking um, three-dimensional stickers that's also recollections I use some of these Paper Studio little gem flowers and they're like a yellow. And then I also use some of these Paper House Wax Seal Butterfly stickers. I use this Scallop Goodie Bag Guide and this is our We Are Memory Keepers and I got this from Tuesday morning. I also use some of these wood pieces and these are little wood tags. Those are also by Recollections. I use this all too new stamp and it's called Crafty Friends and I use the stamp that says Sending Crafty Hugs Your Way. I also use one of these Anna Griffin Sentiment card stock stickers. I use these little handmade with love tags and I got these from AliExpress. I also used a few of these white paper dollies and these are Miss Sparkle and Co from Joann's. For my dies I use this die that looks like a post-it stamp. I use this Avery L treat topper number two and I also use this Rick Rack topper die and this is by Jaded Blossom. Looks like that. For my personalized notes I use this backyard table card set and this is from Recollections. I got this from Michaels. This is the first treat bag that I created. I did share this in a current projects video. I took a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. I cut it down to nine inches. I scored at six and then a little bit on the side so I can seal it on the sides. I used some pinking shears and cut the top and bottom and then I sealed it on the bottom. I etched the top and bottom with some brown ink. I have that netting that I tied around, tied it in a knot here. And then I have this little Eiffel Tower charm hanging off of it. There's some little bling pieces in the back and this one has a pearl on it. I have a little piece of lace here behind this flower and this is one of the flowers you can get from the Michaels $2 bin. That's how the back of my bag looks. And for the um, closure, I used a foam dot like Tamika did on one of her bags. And then when they get ready to use it, they just take the piece off of the other end and seal it. This is the second bag I created using that goodie bag guide. I have a doily on the side. There's like a peach and a green flower on the top and bottom of this little applique. And I got the applique from AliExpress. This is one of the gold butterfly stickers and there's some of that netting and the gold thread in the background. I did do brown ink etching on this bag on the top and bottom and all the edges and then I sealed it with a velcro dot. For my third bag I used one of these gold and cream polka dot treat bags that you can get either from Joann's or from Hobby Lobby. 
This is where I use that die that looks like a postage stamp and I just scored it in the center. I have those wood tags that I painted and I let them dry on some newspaper and some of so some of the paper could um, peel off onto the tag. So that was intentional. I do have a sparkle butterfly sticker on the top. These are some little clear gem pieces. And this linen and gold polka dot flower, I didn't have any more, but that's like a fabric flower that I got out of the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. And there's another one of those butterflies on top and there's the handmade tag. This little flag came from the um, paper pad as one of the cutouts. And then it just opens like that. And I did cut the top of the bag down because it had that kind of scallop edge on it. So here is the last treat bag that I created and I hope none of my partners mind that I used it to gift them two of these Jaded Blossom Rick Rack toppers. So these are the two toppers that I'm gifting all of my partners in the fourth treat bag. I have cut out the front panel and popped it up on some foam. I've also included the bags to go with them so you have this lace white bag and that's one of the ones from Daiso. And then also this clear gusseted bag for the other one. So for my fourth topper, this is the Avery L treat topper number two. This little Hello Friend came from the paper pad and I just cut it out. There's where I used that little gold flower and some butterfly stickers. There's some gold thread and one of the um, Prima kind of brown flowers in the back. I didn't show those because I don't have any more. And then I used um, some of the paper that has like lace doilies all over it. And that's what the back of it looks like. So this back piece is just in there because I had um, the bags for those two toppers in the back. So I've also included a goodie bag. I stenciled and painted this white bag and just have some um, fabric flower washi going across the top. I remember to include one of my little potpourri packs in this swap. I also did a personalized letter for each of my partners. I didn't know what to put up top so I just did some little flowers with the little smiley faces on them. The little note card looks like this and I did share this in my current projects video. So I just used some of the paper, did some of that kind of zigzag etching around this one. This one says thank you because this is the one I created for Tamika. And these tags came from the paper pad. I just did some simple brown etching around that. Use one of those gem pieces from that multi-pack that you can get from Michaels. I have some seam binding I just glued up top and just kind of pinched it. And then on the inside I included two of those little butterfly wax seals so they can use this card again. For my packaging, I did want it to be clean and simple. All I did was type all of my information out and then printed it on some white cardstock. Here's where I use that heart hanging from the string. I'm in the clean and simple group number one. My YouTube and Instagram is sharing more. This one is for scrap the world. I did use my tiny attacher to put some little staples on the side. They weren't necessary, but I thought they would add something to my clean and simple um, packaging. Here's the back of my packaging where I have my handmade stamp, handmade by Ebony, YouTube sharing more. And this is where I use that ultra new stamp that says sending crafty hugs your way. I use some of those color block ink pads to get this effect on these little splatter um, hearts that I have there on the back and I just love how that came out um, I just wanted it to be clean and simple just like the group that I'm in the hostess gift that I'm sending to Mika I just wanted to show this really cute packaging um, this is a Daiso bag that has the little fabric strings on the side that you um, just gather and there was something written here so I just took some of those Anna Griffin sentiment stickers and I put thankful for you on here and it is on the front and back because that was written on the front and back so this is what I'll be sending along with my swap. Thank you Tamika for hosting another great swap I hope you and my partners like what I created. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.